next company is looking to revolutionize the mining space with the use of AI. They are a Montreal-based gold spot. And with me now is Denis Laviolette. He is the CEO and the founder of the company. What a great name. How'd you get it? Gold spot. I can't believe it wasn't taken yet. Yeah, I mean, it was. it's funny. We were thinking of, of, of how, to, uh, how to name the company. We were thought, thinking of like, what it is we do. We spot right. out where targets are. We spot, you know, spot the opportunities in the space and AI is giving this edge. So spot. And then we thought spot ticker. Spot, yeah. You know, so this, how, old, how old is the company now? Um, so the company's three years old now. Three years old. Yeah. And was your background always in mining or how did this evolve? Yeah. You know, um, myself, I'm a geologist. I, I work for a lot of different companies all over the world, um, big and small, that sort of thing. And I translate that experience to um, uh, capital markets where I cut my teeth with Pine Tree Capital. I was working for Sheldon. We had over 400 uh, junior mining investments, and that's where I really got to see, meet a lot of teams, a lot of different commodities, and really. But you must have challenging. spotted inefficiencies that made you think, "Hey, I need to start a company here that solves this problem." Exactly. I was kind of always a modeling nerd, even as a geologist. I was really interested in like using the data to its fullest potential, and um, not that I was an expert at it, but I was. You know, it bugged me that we were never we were collecting all this information but not using it. And I, I started to see like a lot of tr great projects coming through the door at Pine Tree at the time. And uh, you know, these teams were very passionate. They had excellent data, but they just weren't able to show it. Like to, to a person like me as a geologist, I could get it. But uh, to you know, the external market, it would be impossible. So explaining it to me in s the simplest of terms, since yeah. I am not an IT geek whatsoever, you know, how, how do you apply artificial intelligence to mining? Okay, so really in a nutshell, it's, it's, it's about layers. And so every, every layer of data that's collected, um, basically imagine like a stack of paper. Right. And in historically mining, we had what's called a light table. And you could shine a light through a piece of plexiglass and see through pieces of paper layered on top of each other. And you could lay your maps on like that and see if you could see any patterns, like whether it's geophysics, geochemistry, geology, structural geology, all these different variables. And and so what we ended up ha what ends up happening in the space is that the sheet of the stack of paper gets so thick we can't see through it we can't find patterns the human brain is really limited in how many things it can see it and uh, correlate at the same time and so um, essentially we know where deposits are we know where mineralization exists historically we have all this tremendous background data all these layers to look at and so the AI system basically it learns based on the existing stuff what recipe in the layer equals mineralization and then we look for where else that recipe comes back up again wow. so where have you been active which mines have you been working on well we've been working with a lot of great companies um so the first sort of like the first sort of forward thinkers that reached out to us very early days was um sprott mining and right. some of their companies right. that they're involved in uh, with Eric. Uh, I know Rob McEwen's a backer, right? Rob McEwen yeah. with, uh, with McEwen Mining, Integra. Uh, you know, we, we actually competed the Integra Gold Rush Challenge, the Gold Corp Challenge very early days, and we were finalists in, in both of those competitions. Um, Hochschild Mining reached out to us out of the blue. They've been a great partner. So great basically, partner. You, you, you save time for a company, right? You don't have to do as much drilling because you can narrow down whether there's a, a good good veins or not yeah exactly it's just like you know we reduce the time the cost the risks associated with discovery and so when we're working with a company like Hochschild they give us all their data we boil that down into you know where oh, the very best cool. targets are all right if we want to learn more about it where do we go uh, goldspotdiscoveries.ca goldspotdiscoveries.ca yeah. Montreal based company you got I it. like Montreal stories <laughs> thank you so much Denis and thanks for watching we'll have more for you on kiko.com thanks